So the next step in our create cow function, now that we have the variable cur underscore cow, is to put in the attach movie function. So what I'll do is I'll copy and paste, and you can see here, cur underscore cow equals the attach movie function, where I give it the cow name. So you say cow, that's the linkage identifier of our cow movie clip in the library. We have to give it a new name, and notice what I've done here. I've given it the string in between quotation marks, cow, right? But then I also plus add on the variable cow counter. So now it'll be instead of the linkage identifier is cow, but its new name will be cow plus whatever the variable is equal to. In this case, the variable is equal to one, so the new name here will be cow one. The string cow plus the variable will be cow one. So, and then I add the depth level. And the depth level, of course, the variable for that is 1,000, so we'll start the depth level off at 1,000. So now what I can do is, is I can say trace cur underscore cow, and let's see what happens. Right, we'll put a semicolon here, and we'll see what happens in the trace window. If we take a look, you can see here level zero, right, there's the name cow one is being attached. And you can see that it's calling it every two seconds, so it's constantly attaching the same cow movie clip at the same depth level, so it keeps overriding the previous one. So we keep attaching this cow movie clip from the library to the stage, and it overwrites the previous movie clip on the stage. All right. So now what we need to do is we need to modify our code a little bit. So I'll delete this, and let's put in the next piece. Now the next piece of code sets the X and Y axis. And I'll copy this, and we'll paste it in, we'll see what it does. So now, you can see here, now that I say cur cow dot underscore Y property equals 40, so I'm going to set the Y property of the cow, right, to 40, and then the X property, what we want to do is, we want the falling objects in our catching game to be randomly placed at different places across the screen horizontally. So I set the X property to a random value. Now to get the random value, I use the math.random function, and that has to be a capital M. You'll see that when you use a capital N, it'll turn blue, and you use the math.random, and this is a method, right, this random open parentheses, close parentheses, is a method associated with the math class, right? And what this does is, it creates a random number between 0 and 1. And when I mean a random number between 0 and 1, I mean a number like 0.1 or 0.5 or 0.6. And so randomly, we're going to get a random number like, let's say, 0.3, and then we multiply 0.3 times the width of our let's say our uh, stage, our stage is 550 pixels wide, so I set it to 510, a little bit less than the width of the stage. So 0.3, let's say, times 510 will give us a value like 165, right? And then we add 20 pixels, and what this will do is it'll ensure that X will always be equal to a minimum of 20, because if the random number that shows up is zero, zero times 510, will be 0, but then we add 20, so the lowest our x value will be will be 20 pixels. Now the highest it could be would be, let's say the math random number is 1, 1 times 510 equals 510, plus 20 would be 530. So this will give us a random number between 20 and 530. And so now if we hit control enter, you can see that every two seconds the cow is attached to the stage, and then at a different x value each time randomly. Now the problem is we want more than one falling object. If there's only one falling object, it's not going to be a very difficult game. Now to do this, if we want an additional falling object, then what we need to do is we need to increment our cow counter so each cow head that is attached has a unique name like cow1, cow2, cow3, cow4, and a unique depth level. So let's do that now. So what we'll do is we'll say cow 
counter plus plus, which will add one, right? And now we'll have a unique cow, but you can see that they still keep being overwritten. And that's because even though we've incremented the name and we have a cow one, a cow two, a cow three, we have the same depth level. So we also have to increment this if we want multiple objects to be maintained on the stage. So we add that plus plus, and now you'll be able to see that the cow one, cow two, cow three, cow four, and they're all randomly placed. So now that our, our cow heads in our game, our falling objects, are being randomly placed and they're being incremented, we now need to make them also move and fall down the screen. So we need to make them move vertically downward. All right. So now that our cows are being attached from the library to the stage randomly, let's see if we can move them. Now to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to use this right here. Now I've already copied that and I'm just going to paste it in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give each cow, cur underscore cow, a dot on enter frame handler, and this will execute at the frame rate. So if the frame rate's 24 frames per second, whatever is here, in this case, a function called cow move will get called 24 times per second. So each cow will call a function 24 times a second, and that function will be cow move. Now to do that, we have to write the function. So after the curly brace, we say function cow move, open and close parentheses, open curly brace, and now we have a cow move function. Now let's see what we put in there. I'll go down to my code here and see what I did. Well, all right, first thing I did was this. Let's see what that does. All right, we'll put that in there. And that is very easy. This, right? Now this, this keyword right here, if I use the keyword this, right, the special word, it refers to whoever's calling the function. Now the cow move function is being called by the current cow. So whoever the current cow is, and that is cow1, cow2, cow3, so this will be cow1's dot underscore y property plus equal, meaning increment, and then you can see here I've put this dot speed. And I'll talk about that in a minute. For right now, we'll say, let's change it to, let's say, the number 6. So we'll say the number 6. So now you can see that the cow's head is attached, and it's moving at 6 pixels, right, incrementing the y-axis by 6 pixels. And it's being called 24 times per second, so it's moving fairly quickly. This is being incremented 24 times per second. So it ends up moving very quickly because of this. Now, what about this other piece that we had in here? I'll just put that in here. This dot speed. Well, what we can do is, if we go back up to our code up here, is we could say, how about setting a cur underscore cow, right? And setting our own special property that we can make up. like dot underscore y, that's the y property of the movie clip, and this is the x property, and this is built into Flash, so that's why it's, it's blue, it highlights blue, is that it's a built-in property. But we can adjust our own properties. So let's make one called speed, right? So we could make one called speed. You can see that, and this will be our own property that we make up, right? And you can see I have it here in the code. So let's see here, I'll just copy this, what I did before. Now it turned blue, but it is not a built-in property in Flash. It's one that we create. So in other words, I could call it my speed, and now it's black. So cur underscore cow dot my speed, right? And I've set it to a math dot random. So this will be a random number, the speed, from three, right? Because if math dot random is zero times 10, plus 3 would be 3. And if math.random turns out to be 1 times 10, so it'll be a speed between 3 and 10 and 13, 3 and 13 pixels per second. And of course, we'll have to change it to this dot my speed. So now, you can see here that the y will increment at this, meaning current cows, my speed property, which we made up, and we'll see what happens.
and you can see now that each object will move at a different random speed from 13 down to let's say 3. You can see this one's moving a lot slower, that one's even slower, that one's faster.